Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2017-18 Panini Status at Basketball. Five box, quarter of a case, random team break number eight. Sorry, excuse me, I've got a lozenge in my mouth while I'm doing this break. Apologies. So if you hear me slur words, it's not because I'm drunk. It's because I've got a lozenge. All right. One spot gets you two teams, so we'll double you up right here. And... All the teams are in right here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list, each list, four times. One and three. One, two, three, and four. After four times, Rex on top and on bottom. <laughs> Rex is a top and bottom. After four times, teams, one, two, three, and a one. Right, after four times, clip show down to the Knicks show. All right, now once again, before you trade, Rex, Clippers, before you trade, remember this is 17 18. Garrett Strauss, Rockets. Derek Williams, you got the Bucks. Rex with the Kings. Big Boys 007, Cavs. Richard Serrano, you got the Trailblazers. Derek with the Pacers. Richard with the Nets. Rex with the Raptors. Carl's with the Nuggets. Yankees baseball cards. Lakers and Grizz. Rex with uh, Last Spot Mojo, Pistons. Garrett Strauss with the Timberwolves. Gilo with the Bulls. Richard with the Jazz. I know it's a family show, AP. I was just saying Rex was on top of the list on the bottom. What, what was wrong with that? Garrett Strauss Hornets, Derek with the Celtics, Garrett with the Suns, Derek with the Warriors, Rex with the Mavs and the Pelicans, Carlos with the Magic, Garrett with the Hawks, Richard with the uh, Sixers, Rex with the Heat, Gilo, you got the Spurs, Big Boys Elbow Seven Wizards, Garrett Strauss with the Thunder, and Rex with the Knicks. I don't know what you're talking about, AP. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? I think this is the last quarter of the case right here. I didn't see any more in the back. Yeah, okay, break eight. <laughs> so it's, it's the, it is the last quarter of the case. I don't think we have any more after this. I didn't see any more in the back. We have one more case. I have no idea what you're talking about, Arthur. I, I, I'd like it if you kept your mind out of the gutter, sir. That's right, not what we're about. We are a professional, you know, mature, adult, family-friendly show. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, trade window closed. TWC, trade window closed. We're always on point with just mature topics you know that's that's what we do here at Jaspies that's that's our thing we're all about highbrow high level humor here that's what we do that's what we're about all right on the second, there you go, random team eight, status basketball. Good luck. Rex picking up a lot of spots. Thank you, Rex. All right, so as you can see, the, the Wolverine marks let you know that they're all from the same case. Good luck, everybody. Here we go, one auto per box on average. Pretty quick break. Let's see what we got. Good luck, boys and girls. What happened in basketball today? Oh, yeah. 76ers just put the hurt on the Raptors. 116-95. to Sixers lead the series 2-1. What games are tomorrow? May 3rd. Oh, the Bucks are at Boston. Who wins that game, folks? Bucks at Boston. I think the series is tied 1-1, I'm pretty sure.
That series might go six or seven games, I feel like. Milwaukee and Boston. Harrison Barnes. Josh Hart. Sam S. hoping for a Celtic Sixers Easter Conference Final. That'd be a good one to watch. I'd be down with that. Nurkic, 299. I feel like Trailblazers play tomorrow as well. I wish they had a healthy Nurkic with them. That would have made that series really interesting. And, you know, see how far the Trailblazers could go. Rookie credentials, Darren De'Aaron Fox. And I'll, we'll sleeve and top load all of these before they go out. If I happen to miss any serial numbered cards or shipping crew, we'll be able to catch those. There's the autograph. It's Frank Jackson. Nice. Freshman signatures. 118 to 149 going to the Pels. That'll be for Rex. Rex and the Pelicans. Matthew Bodner says, I think Buck, Bucks get one, and then it goes seven games. I could see that. I mean, obviously Giannis, you know, is a beast, right? But Celtics are good, too. They've got great depth, great coaching. So all of that could extend that series. You know, I think a lot of those guys have a year, have like playoff, ex like considerable playoff experience too. But I think that's it's a good matchup. It's an entertaining matchup. Denver at Portland is a late game tomorrow night. Denver at Portland. That series is tied at one, one and one. What does everyone think there? Who's going to win that game? Who's going to win that series? Like I was saying. I wish they had a healthy Nurkic. And I think that, that would be another six, seven game series too. But I have a feeling that this might not, I don't know. Portland does have the home court advantage, right? No, they don't. It's two, three, two. Right, so it's two in Denver, three in Portland and two in Denver. Denver has four games. So it's interesting. I mean, but I think that I think they'll just fall short, Portland, with that Nurkic, which is a shame. Every once in a while, they'll give you a relic, Jonathan Isaac, Rookie Essentials Relic for Carlos Aguirre and the Magic. They, uh, yeah, well, they got Enos Cantor, but come on. I think Enos Cantor and, like, Zach Collins is going to... I mean, I don't think across 40 minutes, they're 48 minutes, they're, they can... Or however long Jokic will play. Kandrews would be great off the bench. You have you know, if you have Nurkic out there for most of the time, and then off the bench here comes Cantor. Man, Jokic gets no rest. Although Enos Cantor has been playing admirably. And we've got Gershon Yabusel for the Celtics. That goes to Derek Williams in the Seas. Matthew Bodner saying, I'm going Portland in seven. That'd be interesting. They're, I feel like Portland Trailblazers, their window is starting to close too, I think. Kind of. I mean, because I'm always like, man, is this the year? You know, you got C.J. McCollum, you got Damian Lillard in the in the backcourt. 
and you're always thinking, just some like Lillard's gonna go off in the playoffs at some point, right? He's just gonna go off. There's Magic Johnson. And so you think it's got to happen at some point. You're always going to run to that Golden State buzzsaw, but... Next box. Sam S. would like to see that... Uh like to see that uh, Jokic KD matchup Western Conference Final. Also, is it going to be is it going to be the Warriors winning the whole thing again? Yeah, Dane needs a good big. Uh, Nurkic could fill that role. He's injured. It's no good. That's at times. I thought Nurkic would that be, be that big. I don't know. It's just, it, it's, it's, I mean, you know, I, it, I'm assuming this is how Portland fans feel, but I, I really, I, it must really be frustrating to be like, like a cusp team, right? Where you're like, all right, you know, you're going to be like a, a fifth, fourth, fifth seed or something, sixth seed, something like that. But like, I don't know. I mean, are you going to attract the... No, Kevin Durant's not going to go to Portland, right? He's going to New York for almost for, for certain. But I don't know. You got you got to try to get convince a couple free agents to go out there. There's another well uh, relic, Wesley Wundu, a relic for a Wesley Wellick. Wundu going to Orlando Magic, Carlos. Yeah, Nurk did get a big deal last year, right? So I don't, I don't think they're gonna get, I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna put money into Boogie. But who, what could they do? What could the Trailblazers do? I know they're not done yet. I mean, they could, they could still win it all, I guess. But what could they do? They may need to win it all to attract free agents to go there. Hey, run with Dame, run with CJ. That'd be kind of fun. That coach has been there forever, right? So I think coach, coach has been there for a while. So they've got some solid coaching. Nice. I like Jared Allen. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for the Nets too. You know, I'm a Lakers guy through and through, but I just like the way I just like the way the uh, Nets, especially Jared Allen, plays. Defense, big highlight dunks. Richard Serrano with rookie Jared Allen autograph. Nice die cut. Sam can't wait for the Zion autos. Yeah, us too. Right, whatever team he goes to, you know, that team's going to be super expensive. So if he goes to your favorite team, ladies and gentlemen, apologies in advance. Pricing is going to be crazy. Your hope is that uh, my hope is that we uh, <laughs> that we that there are, there are other like really good rookies as well as Zion. You know what I mean? So that kind of balances out the pick your team prices for a future basketball product because there's other good teams too. If it's just one good, you know, then it's not good. That's happened in, in years past, maybe three, four years ago, where it's just kind of one one guy and that's it. You know. So it's hard to spread around that price. But. Zion seems like the real deal, though. I feel like, I mean, I'm a casual college basketball watcher. I mean, I only watch basically tournament, right? But I knew about Zion, like, you know, when he was, like, I don't know. There was just this additional hype around him that was kind of crazy. Um, R.I.P. John Havlicek, right? I think he just passed away recently. Out of 149, Dennis Schroeder, Hawks edition. Nice. 
Luke Kennard to 199 rookie credentials. There's Yabu Sally again. Kyle Lowry to 299. And the autograph is Lonzo. There it is. There he is. New breed autograph Lonzo Ball for my Lakers. That goes to Yankees baseball cards. Be sure to send us your uh, your first and last. Jaspie's case breaks at gmail.com. Yankees, so we can get this to you. Bring you Lonzo Ball and his and his brittle, brittle ankles. His Bambi ankles. Get those ankles figured out, Lonzo. Breaks, man. Are there more breaks after this one that are open? Yeah. We got about after... So right now we're going to do... Oh, we just did that Upper Deck Supreme. We're doing status now, as you can see in the schedule. We're doing a one-box uh, NT Collegiate Multisport right now or after this and then we that should bring us to about around 10 f 10 15 ish la time and we have got about 45 minutes to go in the broadcast so whatever fills in that time we can do it time permitting some breaks are long like the longer breaks we might not be able to do oh looks like that supreme hard court jordan edition 23 has sold out and um, Supreme Hardcore Kobe um, is selling out, could sell out. We can do another one of those tonight. Oh, no, you sent it already. Thank you. Nice, Lonzo. Is Lonzo, Logan, you're saying, who's no Donovan Mitchell? Lonzo? No, he's not. They're pretty different players. Lonzo, you're hoping ceiling would be like, like maybe Jason Kidd without the without the without the defense. Jason Kidd is really good defense. <laughs> Lonzo's hard garbage. Yeah, I mean now his ceiling is high. Right now he's hot garbage. You can't stay healthy. There's Luke Kennard to ten for the Pistons. What are the Lakers do if they don't land a marquee free agent? Is Who's a marquee free agent to you, Matthew Bodner? Is Tobias Harris a marquee free agent? Is Jimmy Butler a marquee free agent? Yeah, Lonzo, yeah, like a bit. Yeah, I mean, if Lonzo turns out to be a Rajon Rondo, you know, maybe with, uh, with a better three-point, he, he, he hit some... He would do well with threes in college in UCLA. Um, yeah, if he's a Rondo that can hit threes, I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with him just getting like 15 assists a night, which he can, which he's capable of doing. You know, especially with with LeBron still around. You know, distribute, man, distribute. But yeah, shooting's an issue. Oh, okay. They qualify to you? All right. Well, if the Lakers don't get Jimmy Butler, basically, at worst, <laughs> we cry. And Coos. Two Lakers. Yankees baseball cards. Look at that. Love Coos. I mean, yeah. I don't know what the Lakers are going to do. They're trying to find, find a coach first. After Magic left, the... The um, after Magic quit, Lakers front office hasn't said anything, you know, publicly, like officially, about what their plan is, what they're doing. Not that they 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 need to, they're not stockholders, right? They don't need to reveal everything, but they've been pretty quiet, you know, on that front. Everyone knows that they're searching for a new coach. I think once they once they get that set in place, maybe they'll kind of get and give us an idea of what they're planning to do. But I mean, it's kind of obvious. There's not much they can do. Let the young guys let the young guys develop, draft well, 
you know, let the young guys develop and then try to find LeBron some shooters, maybe bring in like a Jimmy Butler, like some like some sort of all-star, like a second all-star has to come in and I hope guys like Kuzma turn into an all-star. And Lonzo, if healthy, man, Lonzo could ball out too if he's healthy. You know what I mean? But his ankles have been an issue. Shot is, is an issue as well, but I'm willing to wait for the shot to come around. Um, you know, wait for that shot to come around, but have him distribute. Just be on the floor. He has such great court vision. Anyhow, future basketball breaks will have me more more of my sad rants on my sad Lakers. Thanks, everybody. That was status uh, number eight. Appreciate it. Uh, I think there'll be more in the store, so keep an eye out for more. It's a really good price point and, um, you know, and some, some nice hits popping on here too. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.